So everyone, in today's video, we're going to take you through the fundamental anatomy of the foot and ankle complex. This is a super important part of the body, and thus it's crucial that we get a good understanding of the basic anatomy. So if you're ready, let's dive in. So let's start with the fundamental principles of ankle anatomy. So the ankle is effectively made up of two different joints. First, the talocrural joint, and second, the subtalar joint. Let's go through these individually. So first we have the talocrural joint, which is often considered to be the main joint of the ankle. Let's review and rotate around here so you can see it in more detail. So this is the articulation between the distal tibia, the distal fibula on the lateral side, and the talus bone, which sits in the middle of them. The tibia and fibula are said to join together to create a mortise or bracket, and we can see that little mortise and bracket here, which the talus bone slots into really nicely and really congruently. And you'll see that the position of the tibia and the fibula almost means that the talus gets enveloped in the superior region of the talus, as well as the medial talus, and the lateral talus. So as we can see, it's surrounded in all directions and therefore really gains great stability at this aspect of the joint. Now effectively, the talocrural joint is a hinge joint. It's a synovial hinge joint, which is primarily responsible for the movements of ankle dorsiflexion and ankle plantar flexion. So the second joint we mentioned is the subtalar joint. Now, the subtalar joint is the articulation between the talus and the calcaneus. And the name makes sense, subtalar, therefore underneath the talus bone. Now, whilst the talocrural joint, as we said, is considered to be the main ankle joint, the subtalar joint is incredibly important as well because it is responsible for the movements of inversion and eversion, where effectively the calcaneus slides from side to side on the talus. So next, let's look at the bones of the foot. And interestingly, there are a lot of similarities in the basic anatomy between the foot and the hand. So in the hand, we have the carpal bones, the metacarpals, and the phalanges. And in the foot, we have the tarsals, the metatarsals, and the phalanges. So the seven tarsal bones are the talus, the calcaneus, the navicular, the cuboid, and the three cuneiform bones. We then have five metatarsals, one for each digit, and then we have the phalanges, which effectively make up the distal digits. And just like in the hand, the thumb only has two phalanges, a proximal phalanx and a distal phalanx, the big toe in the foot is the same. It only has a proximal phalanx here and a distal phalanx here, whereas the fingers of the hand and the toes of the foot all have a proximal phalanx, a middle phalanx, and a distal phalanx as well. Now, the foot is often described in three different sections. First of all, we have the rear foot, sometimes referred to as the hind foot, which includes the talus and the calcaneus. We then have the midfoot, which includes the navicular, the cuboid, and the three cuneiforms. And then we have the forefoot, including the metatarsals and the phalanges. Now, as you can imagine, there are lots of different joints here that allows for smooth and transitional movements between the bones of the foot. That's why there are so many of them, particularly in the midfoot, where there is a really heavy concentration of bones in a relatively small area. For the midfoot in particular, the bones have a greater surface area of articular cartilage between the different bones, which allows for that smooth movement between each bone and also allows for the transmission of load equally through those different bones of the foot rather than one bone taking the whole load. 
So everyone, I really hope you've enjoyed this introductory anatomy lesson into the foot and ankle. If you have, please support us by smashing that like button. It's the best thing you can do to help us with our channel. Otherwise, we've got amazing resources on our Instagram account, at Clinical Physio, and loads more on our website, clinicalphysio.com. Brilliant education for physiotherapists and physiotherapy students. My name's Khalid. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon here on Clinical Physio.